What's up guys, it's Zed and this is episode 3 of the FIFA 22 player career mode We are in with Conrad Zan And I feel like I'm going to be complaining at the start of every episode Because I have no idea why I'm seeing 8 matches, 6 goals and 2 assists I'm a striker and I'm in bad form How do you have eight, 6 goals in 8 matches and you are in bad form as a striker? So I'm coming in for Royce in the 62nd minute so I have a, 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 a huge ass amount of time to actually make an impact in this match. I have a feeling that it's because my manager rating is that high. That's why I get to start this early in the match. Um, get a match rating of 7.5. Wow. Um, dribble success rate of 60. Get an assist on two goals. You want me to assist twice because of what? Like, why? Why is this being done to me? I mean, does he not want me to, like, succeed? Possession one. So now I have to actually not, not score goals because, because man just said I should get to assist and I'm a freaking striker. That's how crazy this shit is. Vasiliadis. Now can they make something happen? And in with a real chance. In it goes to reduce the deficit. Still very much alive and kicking. Well, you have to ask, where's the defending? The keeper is completely exposed, but he still had to finish it and he did it really well. It's a good goal. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Continues his run. And Bellingham moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. An attack full of promise. Oh, he's gone for goal. Oh, yes! He's going to be proud of that moment. What purity of strike. Caught it absolutely perfectly. Well, just look at this strike again. He hits it so well. That's a great bit of skill. No wonder he's pleased with himself. This might have potential. In position, there's the goal, surely now, that is that. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Additional minute. Nico Schulz. Borussia Dortmund have given it away. And that will do it. The referee blows his whistle. Now I was able to come off the bench and score two goals in the amount of time that we were given. We were able to, to um, complete all of our objectives because I just did not give a shit about our manager anymore. We're going to rack our we're going to rack up our goals and try our best in order to improve other people in other clubs because for some reason the manager here doesn't really care about us at all because we are not following him he said we should make two assists i scored two goals and i'm sure i'm going to go down his rating because because i scored i scored two goals and i didn't get two assists so but what do you know i actually went up i actually went up but that's pretty cool because i wasn't able to get um the two assists and i got the match rating i i I demolished the match rating and I got the successful dribbles and I was able to go up a bit on his ratings. So I guess that is good. Finally on the starting, we are finally in the starting 11 for our manager and are we going to start this match? We are going to start this match. We are side by side with Erling Haaland and this is 
this is a really really good opportunity for us to actually show what we have even though this is going to be our final uh our final two months at dortmund we do not care we're going to try as best as we can to score as many goals as we can this season so let's hope that everything isn't going to be fucked up Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week, and we're just moments away from kickoff time. Stay tuned for the live action. Hello, everyone. Well, I must say, we've been motoring to get here. We're in Germany's Autostadt at the Volkswagen Arena. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. Okay, our match ratings are 7.5. Sorry, our match objectives are 7.5. Complete 10 passes in the opponent's half and get a conversion rate of at least 60%. Fans love a cup competition, and although we're a long way away from the final, both teams will be looking to book their place in the next round in the hope of a good run in this tournament. And the game begins. And the cross goes in. And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and then the movement and finish just makes it look so easy. That's a really good goal. Zan. Marco Reus. Dahoud. It's gone in, and well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, let's take another look, and it's a very good goal. And they deserve it, you have to say. They've been excellent. Holland. Well, flinging himself at it. Holland. Oh, he's through here. Dahoud. Here's Royce. That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. Veghorst. Can he open them up here? The cut back. There it is! A goal to reduce the arrears and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback. Two while the one, the current state of affairs. Dumfries. Takes the shot. The crossbar got in the way. And Bellingham are making high pressing work for them here. No possibilities inside the box. Not the best clearance. And Bellingham. In possession, Schultz. Emre Jan loses out. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. Well, there it is. Wolfsburg have controlled the ball. But it means nothing unless they start to be more creative, particularly in the wide areas. Up to this point, they've been too easy to defend against. He's in behind. course of this game level now excellent challenge and threading it forward and now can he keep calm a good hit close shave hasn't asked to come off the field yet cheers jeff delightful pass Excellent 
Williams to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and the strike could not get any better. He hits through the back of the ball with such power. What a goal this is. Roussillon. This could be the equaliser. And it's come off the keeper. Oh, and he puts away the second chance. No keeper ever. Well, here's the replay, and this is what you're always told as a kid. Go for the far post, make it difficult for the keeper, and then hope your teammate is ready for any rebound. Well, so that was our first match. We were able to get one goal and one assist. We did really well in my books. I think we were able to get two of the manager's objectives. I think that should be able to take us all the way up. Or that, that should be able to keep us in the starting 11, right? I'm not quite sure, but it should be able to. So let's just check if we were able... Wait, what? Oh, shit, that was extra time. Wow, so we're playing all the way into extra time. And taken away by Alderweireld. Might be a chance here. Just when we thought the goal would arrive, the grim reality hitting. Zan. Daniel Malin. Now can they create something? And he's through. Well, he had the chance. He went for power. He might be regretting that now. Well, he got his angles all wrong there. That's a poor miss. Five minutes left in the second period of extra time here. Short corner favoured. Takes the shot. This looks promising. This could square the game. There's the final whistle. The travelling fans are full of the joys because they are moving on. Well, there's going to be some tired legs tonight. It was so evenly contested, certainly over the 90 minutes, but they just had that little bit of extra quality. When We're able to get the manager's ratings, but, sorry, manager's objectives, but, man. I mean, we got 12 to do three, if I'm not mistaken, but that was a really annoying match. Again, I have no idea why I mistakenly picked um, to play as the whole team, because the defending, for some reason, in this game is just off. I mean, I keep on saying it's in my other career mode, the create a club and now that now I know that it's not just because it's a small club because it's, it's actually annoying how how we went two up and then they just came from nowhere and took it from us so yeah we're out of the of this title race so yeah we lost the match but we are still in the managers starting 11 we're still in his first choice for the starting 11 so that is that is something that is pretty good on its own we are also in this match but our energy is quite low so we're not going to stay for the whole match i think i'm just going to make um him play for like 45 minutes and then we will get subbed off or rather we'll request a sub after the the the, the first half is over the man of the moment four goals in three games you can't argue with that the action is live next A damp, soggy day, sad to have to report, here at the Zignali Duna Park in the city of Dortmund. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And the focus is on the Bundesliga. Live action coming up. All right, for this match, our match ratings are to get 8.5. Um, score at least one goal from outside the box, and then have a dribble success rate of 50. Of 50. So that's what I'm going to enhance. So let's try and do all that in 50 sorry in 45 minutes if we're not then oh well i mean we are playing as just us so that so it should be easier i guess but we we get a very very, very bad pass at the beginning of the match which is rather stupid but whatever story and attack is one of a strike partnership 
and the challenge halts them in their tracks. Let's hope they're at their best today. He's lost it. This looks threatening. And a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. Well, here it is again. The through ball is wonderfully executed and the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? Mm. Is it going to end up being productive for them? It could be up for grabs and the keeper did magnificently. Well, particularly in the wide areas, it's been an excellent performance from them so far. Royce. Giving it a try, and just over the bar. Now with Bellingham. Bellingham. Well, great read there to intercept. A real opening now. And a goal to square the game. Into the sea stuff. A easy boy. Juan Camilo Hernandez. Oh, it's a goal! And certainly a deflection off the defender into the back of the net. Well, here's the replay, and there's an obvious deflection. Certainly enough to beat the keeper. He got a bit lucky there. And intercepts again. And Alex is in position, ready to tell us all about a goal that's been scored at the Bay Arena. It's a goal for Wolfsburg. This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Late drama here. And no wonder they're celebrating. Remarkable. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passes is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And he makes no... Trying to get onto the front foot with the minutes ticking away. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. So oh my God, Dortmund is the most annoying team in the world. Anyway, Jesus. Like, what was this match about? Like, the, the guys in the midfield were always just the giving the ball away. And I literally just drained myself trying to cut, trying to help out the team. And nothing happened. I wasn't able to get a goal, but I was able to get the assist that got, um, what is face, Haaland the goal at the beginning of the game. I wasn't able to get the... I wasn't able to get the thing either, the match rating. So let's hope that the coach doesn't drop us back down to the subs. Where we were even the man of the match. That's how bad this shit is. Like, we really, really, really tried to bring this team together. But no, they just did not want to win this match. I mean, they thank God for Julian Brandt that he scored the last goal. And I was even the one that started that attack, I think. But either that or I was part of that attack. But still, like, I, I really expect a lot from these guys and they're just fucking up. Now we're back down to the subs for a performance that wasn't really our fault. We got up to, like, 8.2 and every time the team considered, my ratings dropped. So, really, I guess it's a team game. So, if the team does bad, I do bad for some reason. <sighs> Let's hope this training drill can take us up to where the manager would want us to be. And it does. And we have eight skill points now. I think it's at level 10 that I'm going to um, start using the skill points. So n not now, in, in a bit. Well, this is going to be the last match of the episode. I think we have played three matches from the beginning. We lost one, we drew one. Can we please, please win this one? It's the Champions League. We are yet to find a goal in the Champions League, I think. So let's just hope that we can do something in this match. Still, there is work to do if a knockout stage place is to be theirs. Will they do the job tonight? It's live next on EA TV. Well, this is a region that really loves its football, the industrial west of Germany. We're at the home of Borussia Dortmund. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And we've got Champions League action on the menu.
Okay, so our match ratings for this match is to get 8.5 as well, complete 10 passes in the opponent's half and get a team possession rate of at least 60%. So the team is supposed to get 60% possession and well, I, I mean this team, they don't look like they want that. So anyways, this is the last match of the episode so let's hope that we are able to do well in this match. He goes in the last three games. He looks a real threat whenever he gets the ball, and I'm sure he'll add to that tally today. Opportunity missed. Team possession. Marco Reis. Now Holland. Zan. Can he finish? Squanders the chance for one nil. Well, that's a big miss. Jude Bellingham. Chan. Could be. And a goal to give them the lead. They have the reward. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. Unable to get a body in the way. Can they hit on the break? Defenders need to cover. And he scored not once but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and then the finish is fairly simple. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Okay, so I think this is the end. We are being sobbed off after our two goals uh, with no assists. Well, I think we just got that one that one um, objective that is the, the match rating of 8.5 so I'm, I'm, I'm just going to simulate the rest of the match okay well we did win 1-0 so this is the end of the match are we still going to get that cutting at the end yes we do we are st are we still remain on the starting xi Probably because we scored those two goals, I'm not quite sure. But this is the end of the episode, guys. Thank you for watching so much. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So you can stay updated to the happenings around Conrad Zahn. Once again, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.